The immortal John Hancock here, and I have a special Callitz Gamers specific video I'd like to cover on my channel. And so, um, I, as many of you know, I am heavily involved with the Callitz Gamers for Kids uh, Expo. I, I founded it in uh, 2010, and uh, I have close friends help me organize it every year, and that's Jonathan Rose, Chelsea Beck, Corey, and Shanae Strite of Classics and Oddities, and um, I'm here to talk about game show exclusives, and they're a lot of fun. Uh, as collectors, I love I love getting uh, a souvenir, something in my collection to remember a specific game show from. And early on with Callitz Gamers, uh, which is going on its seventh year, uh, I've loved to showcase and offer uh, people that make their way and come to the show and donate to charity. Um, uh, game exclusives. Now, a little bit about Callitz Gamers real quick. Uh, Callitz Gamers for Kids Expo is a fundraiser video game show with uh, a, uh, all of admission, all of silent auction, and a portion of vendors' proceeds directly go to Children's Justice and Advocacy Center. And it's a nonprofit in Kelso, Washington. Um, I wanted to do a game show locally, and I figured why not? Why not do it for uh, a nonprofit? Um, something I'm very passionate about and uh, currently now I work there. So um, anyways, I uh, in 2010 we had our first show and it was uh, you know it was essentially me working with uh, Portland Retro Gaming Expo uh, to fund a couple rooms at the uh, Red Lion Hotel and I had three exclusives for the show. Now Exclusives don't have to be anything crazy. Anybody out there that wants to do their own show, here's some might get some helpful hints from this. Uh, the first thing I did was take standard Atari cartridges that were all jacked up, didn't have labels on them. There were Combats and Pac-Mans, and I did a special label on them as a souvenir cart. Now I did 50 of these and sold them for five bucks a piece, and all proceeds went to C-Jack. The vendors, there was only like a dozen vendors at the first year's show. I did a special run of cartridges to thank all the vendors uh, for coming. And I gave them this as a thank you for, for showing up and, and vending at a show with no guarantee of how well the turnout would be. Also, working with Rick Wise, um, James Todd, who came made Chunk Out uh, for the Atari 2600, made a special run of 20 of these uh, uh, for the show. Uh, Chunk Out 2600, it's a puzzle game, it's a homebrew, and so a special label on it um, for C-Jack, and all proceeds went to C-Jack. Really cool. Really cool that that was made. So, that was the first year. The second year, uh, we did uh, something really special. We had Thor Ackerlin come to the show. Um, as you know, Thor was NWC champion back in the day. Uh, and he's a Tetris whiz. And so what we did, we took 30 standard Nintendo cartridges, 10 Rad Racer, 10 Tetris, and 10 Super Mario Brothers, and had a relabeled uh, for, for Callitz Gamers for Kids 2011. And what's cool about it is uh, there were 30 carts, and he put a Thor of 30 on mine, which was pretty cool. It's signed on the back. These are pretty cool. I've seen these exchange some collector's hands over the years and it makes me smile. Um, again, nothing crazy. Like, you know, it was just a simple show many years ago. Didn't have uh, a lot of ideas. Again, all, all proceeds went to went to charity. As the years progress, uh, we got a bigger venue and we're able to uh, do something different. We had a uh, unreleased American game uh, Snow, we had uh, in for Sega Genesis called Snow Brothers. Now it was released overseas, so we just had a, um, a vendor donated uh, this product, and all proceeds went to Sea Jack. And it was a reproduction of Snow Brothers, amazing game. And it came with a case, and mine was numbered again, zero of thirty. Nice to have these as reminders of a successful show, raising um, awareness about what Sea Jack does, as well as um, you know a nice. A nice collectible. The year after that um, was really neat. I was a, a huge fan of Guardian Legend um, on the Nintendo and so uh, commissioning with uh, uh, some programmers and producers uh, and with Lost Classics I had 
uh, Callus Gamers for Kids 2013 made of Guardian Legend Secret Edition. And what's cool is that this Secret Edition was produced um, uh, as a hack of the original Guardian Legend with rearranged uh, items. As I've talked about this in another video of mine. And, and again, it was numbered. Uh, really, really kind of neat. Um, and what's kind of cool is you could only tell what number of your cart was and when you stuck it into the system. Really, 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 really cool. And so that's that. Um, very neat. The next year uh, was our final year in a local mall, uh, and it was really special. Uh, working with uh, Josh Byerly. Josh Byerly had, um, we had actually salvaged an unreleased prototype. Uh, Spot goes to Hollywood for the 32X. Now it was near complete, not totally complete. And again, um, working with 8-Bit uh, Evolution to produce the actual cartridges, all proceeds to charity. We made Spot Goes to Hollywood 32X, complete with manual. Um, this is one of 35 made. Um, this was a really special one. Um, again, a huge Sega fan. Really happy that this was produced. And, um, you know, that was, that was near and dear to my heart. So next, that was 2014. 2015, we raised the bar for producing exclusives for shows. Now, in those previous you know, unreleased prototypes, reproductions, a reskin, we actually had um, a full-on homebrew made for the show. Um, this was not available on cart before this show, and it was named Catacombs of Chaos. And this was an Atari 2600 game, homebrew, came with some really cool stuff, came with a, with a scroll instruction sheet, Came with, I love little action figures, came with a little action figure um, cartridge label, and it was all done locally. And um, just, I love I love going all out. And I had a case, nice case for it. And that was last year's, one of last year's exclusives. We also had another homebrew, and it was modified for the show. It was Blow Em Out, I do believe. Um, and then it was changed to Blow Em Out for Sea Jack. And it was a Nintendo homebrew in which you're, um, you, you, you got to play me or, or my daughter Kaylee uh, riding our cat, Princess, blowing out candles on a cake. It plays, it's, it's, it's a fun little arcade game, and I was very happy. We had painted carts, we had um, just a lot of effort, and a lot of, a lot of um, from many, many people to make this happen. And um, again, uh, I don't organize the show by myself. Um, I have help from my close friends. And so uh, currently the organizers that help me run the show is Chelsea Beck, Jonathan Rose, Corey and Shanae Streit of Classics and Oddities. And again, um, those are organizers of this great event. And uh, is with their help, uh, I'm able to uh, put on a show for charity that I'm near and dear to my heart. Um, and, and I'm excited about this year. So which gets to this year? Drum roll. All right. So uh, this year we have two exclusives announced. And um, I'm happy to announce that uh, the first one is an Atari homebrew that plays a little bit like The Legend of Zelda. And the, the game hasn't been available in many years, and we have the permission from the programmer Bjorian, and he's approved of this. Uh, this is Ator. Ator is an Atari 2600 game. It's 32K, and it'll be available at the show for 40 bucks. And, oh my gosh, I had my good friend uh, uh, John Rose make the artwork, and it is just slick. It's, it's high quality. Uh, classics and Oddities, uh, uh, Corey Strite donated the cartridge shells. It comes with an action figure, and it even comes, you can't, it's hard to tell, but it comes with a cloth map, and it comes with the ROM, hints for the game, um, and the actual digital manual. And again, you know, this is a lot of effort goes into these uh, products, and so these will be available at the show. Uh, there's only, uh, there's only going to be... Uh, uh, 30 of these available. So again, uh, great for people that want to attend the show. And no, I'm not selling early. I'm just showing, showcasing how cool exclusives can be. So the next one is a big one. 
and uh, hands down the uh, it just showcases that the show has evolved Calitz Gamers and I had a full-on homebrew NES game made specifically for the show and this is uh, some of the artwork that's going to be on the label. This is actually a poster that's going to be sold separately if both homebrews are picked up. And so this is Callet's Gamer's Adventure. And that's the that's the a poster. And that's some of the artwork that's going to be on the Nest box and and instructions and, and this poster. And so the, the game, uh, again, uh, the game was Lucas Kerr with music from Robert Robbie Genota. And uh, artwork is done by MT with uh, production of the boxes, manuals, and, and labels from Wafflefoot. And so I'm really excited about this. Oh, do you want to see the game? Oh, okay. You want to see the game? Well, first, let me show you the cartridge. Check it out. The, for the show, there's going to be uh, see-through translucent cartridge shells, which were donated. And they'll have LED lights in them. I mean, how cool is that? The game is going to come complete with manual, label, and in an original, like, nest looking box. It's going to be slick. So, without further ado, let's pop in this. <laughs> Got a little controller mixed up there. So, Callot's Gamer's Adventure. And what's cool here is uh, on the title screen, you can change the theme. You can change it to look uh, the graphics like an old school TV. Um, here, we'll zoom that in a little bit. Okay. So you can theme this. You can change the old TV. You can do a Game Boy. And you can even do the Virtual Boy color. How cool is that? You can change how you want to play the game. Uh, we can even do... Um, we can even let's, let's let's just show uh, let's show the let's show the Game Boy start version of it, and so again, um, so essentially you're just a, it's a simple platformer, and you you're playing my son Justice who's gathering gold to um, save up money save up uh, enough to trade in for fireworks. You 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 collect little gold uh, bars around the levels, finish the level. And move on to the next level. Each level has sound. So let me show you what a standard game looks like. So this is what the standard game looks like. It's color. I'm just showing you some uh, different ways. And there's secrets too. Like there's secrets in the game you can unlock. Um, there's a timer for each level. There's score so you can play this for score. Now, for many of you wanting to still get this game, don't worry, okay? I plan on doing a second run, and uh, the second run of games uh, for the Callots Gamers Adventure will have the same box art, same everything. This the cartridge will be a standard gray cartridge. Now the game is going to be sold for 50 bucks. Um, I plan on having the second cart run done, hopefully a month or two after the show. It, it all depends on the. Um, uh, I have a good friend Johnny Mono who is uh, donating uh, his his time to make a, a second cartridge run. So I don't know the information on that yet. But again, um, I just wanted to showcase that that console uh, game show exclusives can be a lot of fun. I'm super excited about having this ready for the show. Um, again, uh, I want to thank everybody uh, who is, who's been involved with, uh, with making these shows ha happen, Portland Retro Gaming Expo. And I just want to say that... Um, I, I, I'm just a small part of making these shows successful. It takes fans. It takes uh, Nintendo Age. There's many many people on Nintendo Age that have promoted this show. Um, Portland Retro Gaming Expo, like I talked about, and the organizers that helped me that I mentioned. And, and I just want to thank everybody. Uh, I want to thank my fans. Uh, I'm, I'm getting close to 4,000, and so when I hit 4,000 subscribers in my next video, hopefully, um, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. So thank you so much. Thank you for watching this, and uh, uh, look forward to doing videos every week.